Cat, it's Maximus here. This is just going to be a quick video about the original 4-in-1 screwdrivers coming out of Jamestown, New York. Since I finally found one of the companies that didn't quite invent it, there's actually a article in a newspaper called The Post-Journal, I believe, out of Jamestown. I'll include a link of that in the description. They actually did a pretty good job of describing or <laughs> talking about the history of this company. This is the company that really popularized these 4-in-1 screwdrivers. 4-in-1 because, of course, you have two different ends. You have a smaller 3 16 and a number 1 Phillips. This is actually not the original shank. And then you had a number 2 Phillips and a quarter-inch flathead. And then they had a little ball detents. Now, one thing is most of these are advertised as 6-in-1s because one side has a quarter-inch, the other side has a 5 16 uh, hex, although I believe the very early ones were both 5 16 They were aware that, of course, you could use... There we go, found my little fasteners here. So they were, of course, aware that you could use the hex end to actually drive fasteners. But it was the driver bits that were made out of really high quality. They said 8650 tool steel. And then the shanks were made out of still good steel, but not quite as hard. And so they didn't, this company, the actual 4-in-1, didn't advertise them as 6-in-1 just because they know if they did that uh, they would experience quite a bit of wear. Although nowadays, they're pretty much all of them are advertised at least as six in ones. And of course, there's many more like Irwin, which makes sleeve versions, which are nine in ones. The big deal about this is something I've never seen before until I found this. It's odd that I found this pair and this one's like almost brand new. And this one's worn, but not too bad. The stubby one. Never seen a 5 16 stubby unit. And I believe this is actually one of the original bits. We can see the grind is quite a bit different than what would be considered a more modern GIS standard, but still not too bad. I do like that it has a thinner shank. One thing that I did notice right off the bat is most of these modern ones have okay ball detents. The ball detent in this original one is like Iron Man. I mean, it's really tough. But this stubby, 5 16 stubby driver handle that only accepts bits that have the integrated uh, ball detent. Thought that was pretty cool and wanted to share that with you all. That indeed, <laughs> at least one point, the original 4-in-1 uh, screwdriver company did make little stubbies for these. And I thought, wow, that's pretty neat. And also give me an opportunity to show everybody the original 4-in-1 screwdrivers. They went out of business in 1996 or something. But once again, take a look at that uh, news article I linked below. And that actually gives a nice little history uh, about this company. And yes, this is the same Jamestown. A lot of tools are coming out of Jamestown, New York, such as the original Crescent Wrench Tool Company. And of course, these are standardized. I do have another more modern, relatively modern, 90s and 2000s, the Ender's Tool, American-made 6-in-1 or 4-in-1. <laughs> And it seems that the one thing that has been their legacy is this size, this standard. Every screwdriver I've ever run into, whether it's been a Harbor Freight or a cheesy Chinese knockoff, they all fit. So they're all pretty much standardized. So you can do something like this where you can find a cheesy 4-in-1 uh, uh, centerpiece or bit uh, shank and use it with any of these older school handles, which I always thought was pretty cool, and that is a pretty neat legacy to actually have a standard like that that has stood the test of time throughout all the knockoffs. And of course, the last thing, which you know you can see side by side, is the original 4 and ones aren't really red. They're kind of a cross between an orange and a red, where like these Enders, this Enders is really uh, truly red. I don't even know if this Enders was actually made by uh, 4 and one or not. 4-in-1 did end up getting sold out to uh, the Lutz Tool Company, and then they wound down the brand. But just wanted to share that with you, <laughs> the original 4-in-1 screwdrivers. Not that easy to find now, even though they were pretty common back in the day. Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.